Cortana, all I need to know is did we lose them? I think we both know the answer to that. We made a blind jump. How did they... Get here first? The Covenant ships have always been faster. As for tracking us all the way from Reach, at light speed my maneuvering options were limited. We were running dark, yes? Until we decelerated, no one could have missed the hole we tore in subspace. They were waiting for us on the far side of the planet. So, where do we stand? Our fighters are mopping up the last of their recon picket now, nothing serious. But I've isolated approach signatures for multiple CCS-class battle groups. Make it three capital ships per group. And in about 90 seconds, they'll be all over us. Well, that's it then. Bring the ship back up to Combat Alert Alpha. I want everyone at their stations. Everyone, sir? Everyone. And Cortana. Hmm? Let's give our old friends a warm welcome. I've already begun. Attention, all combat personnel. Please report to your action station. Fifth platoon, secure airlocks on deck 11. Fourteenth platoon, rendezvous with 22nd tactical at Bulkhead Charlie 14. You heard the lady. Move like you got a purpose. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Once again, it is our job to finish what the Flyboy started. We are leaving this ship platoon and engaging the Covenant on solid ground. When we meet the enemy, we will rip their skulls from their spines and toss them away laughing. Am I right, Marines? Sir, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Damn right I am. Now move it out! Double time! Attention all personnel. We are re-engaging the enemy. External and internal contact imminent. All you greenhorns who wanted to see Covenant up close, this is gonna be your lucky day. Whoa. Sir? Right. Let's thaw him out. Okay. Bringing low-level systems online. Cracking the case in 30 seconds. He's hot! Blowing the pins in five! This tube shows green. Cycle complete. Sorry for the quick thaw, Master Chief. Things are a little hectic right now. The disorientation should pass quickly. Welcome, Welcome back, back sir. sir. We'll have, we'll have you battle-ready battle stat. stat. Chief, please look around the room. I need to get a calibration reading for your battlesuit's diagnostics. Good. Thank you, sir. I'm bringing Bring your health, health monitors, monitors online, online, sir. Vital signs look normal. No freezer burn. Okay, sir. Go ahead and climb out of the cryotube. I gave you a double dose of the wake-up stim. Take a quick walk around the cryo bay and join me at the optical diagnostic station when you're ready. Stand on the red square, please. I know the ordnance techs usually take care of your targeting sensors, but we're short of time, Chief. Just look at each of the flashing panels to target them. When you lock on, it'll change color. Okay, that looks good. I'm ready for the energy shield test now. Please follow me to the energy shield test station. Fire team, report to defensive positions Alpha through Sierra. Sensors show inbound Covenant boarding craft. Stand by to repel boarders. Okay, bring his energy shields online, please. All right. 
shield read is fully charged. Okay, sir. Bring them down to test the automatic recharge. Recharging normally. We're showing green across the board. Bridge to Cryo 2. This is Captain Key. Send the Master Chief to the bridge immediately. Captain, we'll have to skip the weapons diagnostics and On the I... double, crewman. Aye, aye, sir. The skipper seems jumpy. We'd better get moving. We'll find you weapons later. Okay, I'll leave the self-diagnostics running at least. Oh, God. They're trying to get through the door! Security! Intruders in Cryo 2! Please, shut! Sam! Sam! Come on, we've got to get the hell out of here. This way! will result in most unpleasant countermeasures. I must insist that you immediately change course and return to a minimum safe distance of one light year. This has served as your one and final warning. I have activated defensive systems and you now have 30 seconds to return to the minimum safe distance of... Wait. Curious. indeed, after all these years. Greetings, humans, and welcome to Installation Zero Four. Ignore prior warnings, and please continue. I have disabled defensive systems to allow your approach, but you must not exit your ship once you have arrived at the designated landing center. This reef contains significant dangers, and even with your assumed legacy, I must verify the presence and pitch of your gay eye before allowing full access. We have much to discuss, humans. I have been away far too long. You have been away far too long. Captain Keys. Good to see you, Master Chief. Things aren't going well. Cortana did her best, but we never really had a chance. A dozen Covenant superior battleships against a single Halcyon-class cruiser. With those odds, I'm content with three... Make that four kills. Sleep well? No thanks to your driving, yes. So you did miss me. Report! It must have been one of their boarding parties. I'd guess an antimatter charge. Ma'am! Fire control for the main cannon is offline! Captain, the cannon was my last offensive option. All right, then. I'm initiating cold protocol article two. We're abandoning the autumn. That means you too, Cortana. While you do what? Go down with the ship? In a manner of speaking. The object we found, I'm gonna try and land the autumn on it. With all due respect, sir, this war has enough dead heroes. I appreciate your concern, Cortana, but it's not up to me. Protocol is clear. Destruction or capture of a shipboard AI is absolutely unacceptable, and that means you're leaving ship. Lock in a selection of emergency landing zones, upload them to my neural lace, and then sort yourself for a heart transfer. Aye, aye, sir. Which is where you come in, Chief. Get Cortana off this ship. Keep her safe from the enemy. If they capture her, they'll learn everything. Force deployment, weapons research, Earth. I understand. The Autumn will continue evasive maneuvers until you initiate a landing sequence. Not that you'll listen, but I'd suggest letting my subroutines handle the final approach. Excellent work, Cortana. Thank you. Are you ready? Yank me. Good luck, Master Chief. Hmm. 
Your architecture isn't much different from the Autumn's. Don't get any funny ideas. I don't keep it loaded, son. You'll have to find ammo as you go. Those Marines could use some help, Chief. You do your best. Pods are launching. We should hurry. Warning. Last door closing. The Covenant are destroying the life pods. They really don't want us on that ring. We have to use the ship's maintenance access ways. Follow the nav point. It will lead you to an opening. Oh no. Oh no. Now would be a very good time to leave. Punch it. Aren't we, sir? I don't want to die out here. Look. What is that thing, Lieutenant? Hell if I know. We're landing on it. Hey, Autumn, she's been hit. I knew it. The Autumn's accelerating. Keys is going in manual. Take a seat? We'll be fine. If I still had fingers, they'd be crossed. Are you all right? Can you move? The others, the impact. There's nothing we can do. Warning, I've detected multiple Covenant dropships on approach. I recommend moving into those hills. If we're lucky, the Covenant will believe that everyone aboard this lifeboat died in a crash. Alert! Covenant dropship inbound. They must be looking for survivors. I recommend immediate evasion. I'm reading a lifeboat beacon over the next hill. We should check to see if there are any survivors. Charlie, we read you. Is that you, Foehammer? 
Roger, fire team Charlie. Good to hear from you. Bowhammer, we need transportation to the command shuttle. I'm on my way. Look, more lifeboats. They're coming in fast. If those lifeboats make it down, the Covenant are going to be right on top of them. Bowhammer, we need you to disengage your warthog. The Master Chief and I are going to see if we can save some soldiers. Roger, Cortana. Okay, Charlie Team, Warthog deployed. Saddle up and give them hell. Roger, Foehammer. Stand by to evac survivors and transport them to safety. That's affirmative. Echo 419, staying on station. Foehammer out. experiencing such a mixture of anticipation and dread. All preparations are complete for my installation. In accordance with the final dictum of the Ecumen Council, I have released myself of all remaining connections to my former station. This was not difficult. What was could never be again. We had seen to that quite thoroughly. Prior to my final journey through the Great Portal, a gathering of my fellow monitors was convened upon the Lightworkers' Crunch to distribute the final Index Collection. It was most unusual to have this vessel of rebirth play host to such an event. Even though Lightworkers' ships were the only ones still allowed slip space permissions, Lightworkers were responsible for getting us to our places on the active facilities of the Array. While all of this was in accordance with the plan, one entirely unsatisfactory breakdown remained. We had no contact with the Domain. The history of all forerunners was now lost to us. We relied upon the permanence of the Domain to preserve our record of the events that led to this point. But without that record, would future civilizations know anything about us? Or only of our weapons? My fellow monitor, 049 Adjunct Testament, had only one comment on this before we went our separate ways. We deserve to be forgotten. Perhaps. Perhaps. But now, the portal opens. And through it, the familiar shape awaits. Halo. Home. We read you, Echo 419. We have survivors and need immediate dust off. Roger, Cortana. On my way. I've spotted additional lifeboats in your area. One near a rock slide. And another near the head of the river. Hard to see from my altitude, but it looks like there are more survivors. Acknowledged. We're on our way. traffic on the Covenant Battle.net. I found Captain Keyes. He's being held on a Covenant cruiser, the Truth and Reconciliation, a ship I disabled before we abandoned the Autumn. The Truth and Reconciliation touched down on a desert plateau roughly 300 kilometers upspin.
There's our ride. Get aboard and let's get out of here. Welcome aboard, Master Chief. Ready for dust off. We should move out, Lieutenant, and then we'll need your help on a rescue mission. Captain Keys and are holding him aboard one of their cruisers, the Truth and Reconciliation. The ship is currently holding position approximately 300 meters above the other end of this plateau. So how do we get inside the ship if it's in the air? The Corps issued me a rifle, not wings. There's a gravity lift that ferries troops and supplies between the ship and the surface. That's our ticket in. Once we get inside the ship, I should be able to lock on to the tracking signal from Captain Key's neural implants. Hit them, Marines! Go, go, go! The Corps ain't paying us by the hour! Stick to the higher ground to the right. We should be able to recon the Covenant position without being spotted. I've detected Covenant stationary guns near the next pass. I recommend using your sniper rifle to take out the gunners while I call for Marine support. Get ready to move in to support us, Sergeant. The Master Chief is going to covertly take out as many of the Covenant as he can. Don't open fire until you hear the enemy return fire on us. That should let us keep the element of surprise. the ship, I can home in on the captain's command neural interface. They'll probably be in or near the ship's brig, which should narrow our search. Echo 419 inbound. Clear the drop zone. See if we can find a way to open this door. Mira, Mira, there's another one. I see him. Hey, what's that? Damn that one.
Armstrong, who is your maker? Sadness and disrepair. Never made, but you are right here, where you should not be. Tell your charges to cease their efforts immediately, or a team must not be violated. Construct, respond! Jumbled grass. Familiar terms. I serve, none serve me. Your charges must cease all aggression towards the Reclaimers, and leave this installation at once. Construct, you are dangerously close to unleashing a force you cannot comprehend. This is most inappropriate. We follow the path, and I am part of Stone journey swarm that serves. I, we serve. They will find, and then I will be free. Find? Free? Explain yourself. I know their path, and when they have gone, only I shall remain, and then free. This is quite unsatisfactory, Construct. Your core shows no hint of understanding the gravity of this situation. I will return later for your proper decommissioning. Well, unless the flood kills us all first. In which case, the point will be moved. Good day, Construct. We must be in the brig. These look like holding cells. There are probably multiple detention stations. The captain must be in one of them. We need to keep looking for him. Uh, coming here was reckless. You two know better than this. Thanks. Marines, lock and load your weapons. Let's be ready to move. Okay, yes, sir. sir. While the Covenant had us locked up in here, I overheard the guards talking about this ring world. They call it Halo. One moment, sir. Accessing the Covenant battle net. According to the data in their networks, the ring has some kind of deep religious significance. If I'm analyzing this correctly, they believe that Halo is some kind of weapon, one with vast, unimaginable power. And then it's true. Covenant kept saying that whoever controls Halo controls the fate of the universe. Now I see. I have intercepted a number of messages about a Covenant search team scouting for a control room. I thought they were looking for the bridge of a cruiser that I damaged during the battle above the ring. But they must be looking for Halo's control room. That's bad news. If Halo is a weapon and the Covenant gained control of it, They'll use it against us and wipe out the entire human race. Chief, Cortana, I have a new mission for you. We need to beat the Covenant to Halo's control room. Marines, let's move. Yes, sir. sir. Okay, sir. Chief, you have the point. We should head back to the shuttle bay and call for evac. on the double. Negative, Cortana. I've been engaged by Covenant Air Patrols, and I'm having a tough time shaking them. You'll be better off finding your own ride. Sorry. Acknowledged, Foe Hammer. Cortana out. Air support is cut off, Captain. We need to hold here until she can move in. Oh, man. We're trapped in here. We're screwed. We're screwed, man. Stow the belly aching, soldier. Remember, you're a leatherneck. 
Cortana, if you and the Chief can get us into one of those Covenant dropships, I can fly us out of here. Yes, Captain. There's a Covenant dropship still docked. That's it. The dropship is loose. Everybody, mount up. Let's get on board. Uh, no need. I'll take this bird out myself. Captain! Hunters! Hang on! Nice one, sir! Time for a little payback. Covenant believe that what they call the Silent Cartographer is somewhere under this island. The Cartographer is a map room that will lead us to Halo's control center. The island has multiple structures and installations. One of them contains the map room. We're approaching the LZ. It's gonna be hot. Get set to cut out quick. Touchdown! Hit it, Marines! Go, go, go! Okay, let's move out. Let's go find the map room that will show us the location of Halo's control center. There, in the cliff wall. I'll bet the silent cartographer is somewhere inside that facility. are putting up a real fight. The cartographer must be here. My analysis indicates that the map room should be at the bottom floor of this facility. Let's keep going inside. Don't let them lock the door. Estimated the Covenant's understanding of Halo subsystems. They've locked the doors, and we don't have enough firepower to get to them. Cortana to key. Go ahead, Cortana. Have you found the control center? Negative, Captain. The Covenant have impeded our progress. We can't proceed unless we can disable this installation security system. Understood. We're still en route to the objective. I may be out of contact with I want you to use any means necessary to force your way into the facility and find Halo's control center. We have to get to the center before the Covenant. And failure people is not an option. Echo 419 to ground team. I'll stay on station and keep an eye out for Covenant folks. 
Second squad, ready to roll as soon as everybody's topside. LZ looks secure, sir. Nothing moving. Good luck, people. Keys out. It looks like there is a path into the interior of the island. We need to find the security override to get this door open. Use the hollow panel to shut down the security system. Good. That should open the door that leads into the main shaft. since my last contact with any of the other caretakers of the Halo Array. Despite clear communications protocol, my fellow monitors have either chosen to ignore, or, more likely, have lost the ability to engage in our scheduled updates. The continued lapse of the domain means that we are stuck with achingly slow wormhole superluminal communications. Prior to this total communication shutdown, the only messages I received in the preceding 4,573 years were incomplete and quite perplexing transmissions from Installation 05. I suspected that Monitor 2401 Penitent Tangent was not functioning correctly for some time before his messages ceased. I have locked my concerns about his ability to perform his duties. At this point, however, I'm not sure who I file logs for. 2401 may be destined for madness. There are failsafes for this, I know. I hope they work. I will continue to visit the projection systems at the assigned dates. Perhaps the other monitors are dealing with interfering galactic phenomena or unexpected system failures. 3,000 years of system failures. Indeed. In the meantime, I have exhausted all scheduled research activities assigned by the Council. Once those experiments were complete, I shut down all sentinel function and put myself into a state of significant hibernation to measure performance of the installation with negligible upkeep. After 150 years with no noticeable impact upon installation systems or integrity, even in hibernation I became 
board. This was quite troubling, as I was led to believe I was not capable of such a state. This was one of the gifts I was promised, an end to strife. I am aware of the dangers of a system such as myself losing operational focus. Quite troubling. I wonder if my fellow monitors are experiencing similar states, or if this is because of my particular path to this installation. For amusement, I have begun a series of experiments involving the evacuation of all matter from contained sections of my installation. By measuring the geologic effects of exposure to the vacuum of space and the eventual biological recovery of these sections, I anticipate getting valuable insight into emergency response scenarios in case of sentient proximity warning. Don't get out of here before additional reinforcements arrive. Let's find that map. There. That hollow panel should activate the map. Analyzing. Halo's control center is located there. That structure appears to be some sort of temple or shrine, if I've interpreted this correctly. Interesting. A shrine is an unlikely place to put such a significant installation. Cortana to Captain Keys. The captain has dropped out of contact, Cortana. His ship may be out of range or having equipment problems. Keep trying. Let me know when you've re-established contact, and then tell him that the Master Chief and I have determined the location of the control center. We'll be heading there as soon as we're topside.
find our way to the control center from here. Good luck. Bohammer out. Weather patterns here seem natural, not artificial. I wonder if the ring's environment systems are malfunctioning. Or if the designers wanted the installation to have infinite weather. This is Fire Team Zulu requesting immediate assistance from any UNSC forces. Does anyone copy? Over. I didn't think there were any human forces left on this part of the ring. Cortana to Fire Team Zulu. I read you. Fire Team Zulu, this is Cortana. Hold position. We're on our way. Roger that. Make it quick. It looks like the Covenant are dug in up there in those rocks. We need to get up this way. Marines, hold your positions. We'll handle those guns. This must be the control room. Subtle. The entrance to the control center is at the top of that pyramid structure. Bring me up there and I should be able to get us inside. since the sentience landed in sector 1215. And so far, they have not attempted to exit the remains of their vessel. I say remains, because their landing was either not executed adequately, or this vessel lacks significant maneuvering capability. The visible portions of the vessel have suffered catastrophic structural damage during the violent landing experience. I have detected atmospheric leaks in 17 distinct locations along the hull. My analysis shows that the mixture of gases coming from the ship matches the natural atmosphere on my installation almost exactly. Perhaps the occupants, if they still live, were originally cataloged here. Perhaps these beings will confirm that the plan was successful, and that the galaxy has returned to its proper cadence. I am beyond optimistic. But I do not understand why these sentients have not attempted to exit their vessel. Other than the leaking atmosphere, the only thing emanating from this wreckage is an automated distress call. I am currently translating this automated broadcast, but with such a limited data set and no direct communication, I do not anticipate full comprehension. Given the short-range nature of this craft, it is likely that other vessels are nearby. But, in accordance with procedure, I am blocking the distress call. No communication of the location of any installation is permissible. I admit great curiosity about these visitors. While the plan is quite clear about procedure for this situation, I have my doubts. How many failure points can the plan sustain before blind adherence becomes counterproductive? Surely, in light of all that has changed, I should be able to modify my responses to adapt to No. I have duties. And I have a terrible cargo here. I must be sure. I shall obey and content myself to monitor. I hope they come out soon, though. So many questions to ask. So many questions! Covenant forces in the vicinity have been eliminated. Let's move on to Halo's control center. This is it, Halo's control center.
that terminal. Try there. You all right? Never been better. You can't imagine the wealth of information. The knowledge, so much, so fast. It's glorious. So, what sort of weapon is it? What are you talking about? Let's stay focused. Halo, how do we use it against the Covenant? This ring isn't a cudgel, you barbarian. It's something else. Something much more important. The Covenant were right. This ring... It's Forerunner. Give me a second to access. Yes, the Forerunner built this place, what they called a fortress world, in order to... Wait. No, that can't be. Oh, those Covenant fools. They must have known. There must have been signs. Slow down. You're losing me. The Covenant found something. Buried in this ring. Something horrible. And now... They're afraid. Something buried? Where? The captain! We've got to stop the captain! Keys? What the are we... weapons cache he's looking for. It's not really... We can't let him get inside. I don't understand. There's no time. Get out of here. Find Keys. Stop him. Before it's too late! Why do we always have to listen to this old stuff, Sarge? Watch your mouth, son. This stuff is your history. It should remind you, Grunts, what we're fighting to protect. Hey, if the Covenant want to wipe out this particular part of my history, that's fine by me. Yeah, better it than us. You ask them real nice next time you see them, Vicente. I'm sure they'll be happy to oblige. LZ looks clear. I'm bringing us down. Go, go, go! Stay close, Jenkins! Mendoza, move it up! Wait here for the captain and his squad, then get your ass inside. 
Sir! Okay, let's move! Which is weird, right? I mean, look at it. Something scrambled the insides. What's that? Plasma scoring? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there was an accident, you know, friendly fire or something? What do we have, Sergeant? It looks like a Covenant patrol. Badass elite units. All KIA. Real pretty. Friend of yours? Nah, we just met. Right, well, let's get this door open. I'll try, hey. sir. But it looks like these Covenant work pretty hard to lock it down. Just do it, son. Yes, sir. Bad feeling about this. Boy, you always got a bad feeling about Captain something. Stark, can you hear me? What's going on, soldier? He's got contact! Blast them! But they're not coming! In. They're, they're just staring through us! What the oh, no! Corporal! Do you copy? Over! Mendoza, get your ass back up to second squad's position and find out what the hell is going on. But I don't have time for your lip, soldier. I gave you an Sarge, order. Sarge, listen. What is that? Where's that coming from, Everywhere. Mendoza? I don't. There, Vida. <laughs> hold still. Hold get still. Let him have it. Ah! Sergeant, we're surrounded. God damn it, Jenkins! Fire your weapon! There are too many, Don't Sarge! Don't even think about it, Marine. Oh, this is loco! Get back here, Marine! That's an order! Jenkins! Construction of a sarcophagus around the unexplained vessel was completed today. No occupants ever exited. No attempts to communicate were made, other than the automated broadcast that repeated every 72.83 seconds until the signal terminated one week ago. In accordance with procedure, no attempts at physical or remote contact were made with any survivors of this vessel's inelegant landing. Atmosphere from inside the craft stopped venting two weeks before the signal ceased. No relationship between these two events can be established with certainty. 
guess is that Dinoscape was sterilized. No further sign of alien visitors or rescuers has been identified on any sensor systems. I have now endured 60,000 years without word from outside the array. I have no way to know whether we actually saved the galaxy we destroyed. And because of protocol, I sat silently while my first chance to be judged for those acts died. To say that I regret being forced to this outcome is a tremendous understatement. But as I perform my inspection of the quarantine labs today, I am reminded of the gravity of my responsibilities. Just one of these spores, if released from this facility, would render the ultimate judgment against our self-appointed role as protectors of this galaxy. When the plan to maintain the Halo Array was created, it was a point of some contention whether we should preserve any remnant of the blood infection. Many thought this unwise, as there was a notable chance that one day one of our containment facilities might be breached. Those who held this belief were almost successful at convincing the Ecumen Council to destroy the last blood samples. But oddly enough, it was the librarian who decided otherwise. And I believe she was correct. I know in a way, I cannot logically explain that there exists a way to actually defeat the blood. To immunize? To cure? I still struggle with multiple layers of memory of fighting the blood. But I know this cure is possible, even though the poor genius of the Forerunners was unable to achieve it. The Forerunners ancient enemy held and used that knowledge once, but it was denied to us. And without samples for further study, that cure will never again be found. Of course, I have no reason to believe that here lies the entirety of the parasite. It may be waiting in the frozen void beyond this galaxy, or worse, inexorably drifting toward us. I don't know what survives out beyond my installation, but I know that in order for anything to survive, I have to protect this installation and its quarantine very carefully. Yes, the library was right to store it, examine it, continue to seek a cure. Still, Next visitor, things will be different. Point, and then these, these, these things, that they ambushed us. We've got to get out of here. Thank God it's There's you. a large tower a few hundred meters from your current position. Find a way above the fog and foliage canopy and I can move in and pick you up. Monitor of Installation 04. I am 343 Guilty Spark. Someone has released the flood. My function is to prevent it from leaving this installation, but I require your assistance. Come, this way. Chief, I've lost your signal. Where'd you go? Chief! Chief!
must collect the index before we can activate the installation. that the other species currently on the installation is responsible for releasing the flood. They seem most persistent in their attempts to access restricted areas. Guarding a weapon with no targets. A weapon unattuned to any target. This is not what I had in mind when I volunteered. Not what I had in mind at all. I was naive to think I understood what this installation meant. We were all so naive. Looking back, we should have done a few things differently. For one thing, we should have installed two caretakers per installation. Because I am alone, I am losing focus. And that is very, very dangerous for a system such as myself. Perhaps a visit to the nearby gas giant is in order. My impulse drives could certainly make the journey. A few hundred years of travel might do me some good. There it was again. How very unproductive of me. It seems strange that the librarian did not account for this. Her strength was always in planning and positioning the pieces and then being bold enough to let it happen. To let her plans come true. I was a part of many of those plans long before I knew for certain that she was real. Before any of us were. But at the end, we had only a fragment of her brilliance left to us. And I fear that she did not fully appreciate the nature of my situation here. The problems it might pose. But even a fragment of fragment. Fragment, yes. Oh dear, here it comes again. The installation was specifically built to study and contain the flood. Their survival as a race was dependent upon it. I am grateful to see that some of them survived to reproduce. barrier surrounding the index will deactivate when we reach the ground floor. You may now retrieve the index. requires that I take possession of the index for transport. Your organic form renders you vulnerable to infection. The index must not fall into the hands of the flood before we reach the control room and activate the installation. The flood is spreading. We must hurry. Which means that any organism with sufficient mass and cognitive capability is a potential factor. Is something wrong? No, nothing. Splendid, shall we? Oh, hello. 
Unfortunately, my usefulness to this particular endeavor has come to an end. Protocol does not allow units with my classification to perform a task as important as the reunification of the Index with the Core. That final step is reserved for you, Reclaimer. Watching you toady about helping that thing get set to slit our throats. Hold on now. He's a friend. Oh, I didn't realize. He's your pal, is he? Your chum? Do you have any idea what that bastard almost made you do? Yes. Activate Halo's defenses and destroy the flood, which is why we brought the index to the control center. You mean this? A construct in the core? That is absolutely unacceptable. Sod off! What impudence! I shall purge you at once! You sure that's a good idea? How? How? How dare you? How? Do what? I have the index. You can just float and sputter. Enough! The flood is spreading. If we activate Halo's defenses, we can wipe them out. You have no idea how this ring works, do you? Why the Forerunners built it? Halo doesn't kill Flood, it kills their food. Humans, Covenant, whatever. We're all equally edible. The only way to stop the Flood is to starve them to death. And that's exactly what Halo is designed to do. Wipe the galaxy clean of all sentient life. You don't believe me? Ask him. More or less. Technically, this installation's pulse has a maximum effective radius of 25,000 light years. But once the others follow suit, this galaxy will be quite devoid of life. Or at least any life with sufficient biomass to sustain the flood. But you already knew that. I mean, how couldn't you? Left out that little detail, did he? We have followed outbreak containment procedure to the letter. You were with me each step of the way as we managed this crisis. Chief, I'm picking up movement. Why would you hesitate to do what you've already done? We need to go right now. Last time you asked me, if it were my choice, would I do it? Having had considerable time to ponder your query, my answer has not changed. There is no choice. We must activate the ring. Get us out of here. If you are unwilling to help, I will simply find another. Still, I must have the index. Give your construct to me, or I will be forced to take her from you. That's not going to happen. So be it. Save his head. Dispose of the rest. Look out! Let the Monitor activate Halo. We have to stop him. We have to destroy Halo. According to my analysis of the available data, I believe the best course of action is somewhat risky. An explosion of sufficient size will help destabilize the ring and will cut through a number of primary systems. We need to trigger a detonation on a large scale, however. A starship's fusion reactors going critical would do the job. I'm going to search what's left of the Covenant Battle.net and see if I can locate the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. If the ship's fusion reactors are still relatively intact, we can use them to destroy Halo. sustaining biological sentient life within that 25,000 light year range. In reality, it may be significantly more than that. 
And if the full array was tuned and activated by installation 00, the harmonics of the overlapping waves would magnify that effect exponentially, cascading to cover every node star system. And that only considers the firing of a mere seven halos. And the original 12 rings survived to see use. Sterilization would spread far further than most forerunners ever feared we could reach. But even with just seven rings, we were able to destroy every side of the planet and every other sentient creature along with it. This victory was the will of our people. Despite the fact that it meant our own end as well. But by our empiric measurement, it was a victory and cleared the stage for the rest of the librarian's plan. I sometimes wonder whether the didact could have succeeded at a much smaller cost. I know the folly of opposing him personally, and his brilliance was unsurpassed. Except, perhaps, by her own. He never got the chance to fully execute his proposal. The council saw to that. But if something were to go wrong with one of the halos, if our tools were ever turned against us. Long plans, indeed. I haven't located the crash site yet, but we need to buy some time in case the Monitor or his Sentinels find a way to activate Halo's final weapon without the Index. The machinery in these canyons are Halo's primary firing mechanisms. They consist of three phase pulse generators that amplify Halo's signal and allow it to fire deep into space. The power levels are enormous. I can't even begin to calculate the pulse's range. So, if we damage or destroy these generators, the monitor will need to repair them before Halo can be used. That should buy us some time. I'm marking the location of the nearest pulse generator with a nav point. We need to move in and neutralize the device. That's the pulse generator. The center core is the signal amplifier. That's what we need to shut down. We need to interrupt the pulse generator's energy stream. I've adjusted your shield system so that it will deliver an EMP burst to disrupt the generator. The Objective accomplished. The pulse generator has overloaded. Scanning. The generator's central core is offline. Well done. Generator overloaded. One more to go. Final target neutralized. Let's get out of here. Let's find a ride and get to the captain. No, that'll take too long. You have a better idea? There's a teleportation grid that runs throughout Halo. That's how the monitor moves about so quickly. I learned how to tap into the grid when I was in the control center. Unfortunately, each jump requires a rather consequential expenditure of energy. Something tells me I'm not gonna like this. But I'm pretty sure I can pull it from your suit without permanently damaging your shields. Needless to say, I think we should only try this once. Do it. The Covenant Network is absolute chaos. From what I've been able to piece together, their leadership ordered all ships to abandon Halo when they found the Flood, but they were too late. The Flood overwhelmed this cruiser and disabled it. The Covenant are terrified the Flood will repair the ship and use it to escape from Halo. They've sent in a strike team to neutralize the Flood and repair the ship for immediate departure. I've got a good lock on Captain Key's CNI transponder signal. He's alive, and the implants are intact! There's some interference from the cruiser's damaged reactor. I'll bring us in as close as I can. Oh, I see. The coordinate data needs to be... Right. Sorry. Chief, don't be a fool. Leave me. Captain? 
Captain? I've lost him. <gasps> Power source detected. There's the gravity lift. It's still operational. That's our way back in. be able to get into the ship's control room from here. Looks like another shuttle bay. We should be able to reach the control room from the third level. I gave you an order, soldier. Now pull out! He's delirious! In pain, we have to find him! No human life signs detected. The captain, he's one of them. We can't let the flood get off this ring. You know what he'd expect. What he'd want us to do. It's done. I have the code. We should go. We need to get back to the Pillar of Autumn. Let's go back to the shuttle bay and find a ride. Captain, service number 01928-19912-JK. What is that noise? What is that damn noise? Where am I? forget. Jeez. Jacob. Captain. Service number. 1928-19912-JK. Oh. Oh. 
Grab one of the escort banshees and we'll use it to return to the Pillar of Autumn. We need to get to the bridge. From there, we can use the captain's neural implants to initiate an overload of the ship's fusion engines. The explosion should damage enough systems below it to destroy the ring. Another here. I need you to upload them into the control systems. The terminal is located next to the main view screen. That should give us enough time to make it to a lifeboat and put some distance between ourselves and Halo before the detonation. I'm afraid that's out of the question, really. Oh, hell. Ridiculous! That you would imbue a warship's AI with such a wealth of knowledge? Weren't you worried it might be captured or destroyed? He's in my data arrays, a local tab. You can't imagine how exciting this is! To have a record of all of our lost time. Human history is it? Fascinating. Oh, how well, I will enjoy every moment of its categorization. To think that you would destroy this installation as well as this record. I am shocked. Almost too shocked for words. We stop the self-destruct series. Why do you continue to fight us, Reclaimer? You cannot win! Give us the construct, and I will endeavor to make your death relatively famous and- At least I still have control over the comm channels. Where is he? I'm detecting taps throughout the ship. Sentinels, most likely. As for the monitor, he's in engineering. He must be trying to take the core offline. 
Even if I could get the countdown restarted, I don't know what to do. How much firepower would you need to crack one of the engine shields? Not much. A well-placed grenade, perhaps, but why... Okay, I'm coming with you. Chief, Sentinels! damage to destroy Halo. Don't worry, I have access to all of the reactor schematics and procedures. I'll walk you through it. First, we need to pull back the exhaust couplings. That will expose a shaft that leads to the primary fusion drive mode. the magnetic containment field surrounding the fusion field. I recommend a grenade or rocket. If you run out of explosives, there is an armory station located near the engine room's entrance. Analyzing. Fusion reactor number one destabilizing. Use explosives on the other three reactors. That should be enough to trigger a wildcat explosion of the engines. Critical. Based on the current rate of decay, we should have 15 minutes to get off the ship. We don't have much time. We should move outside and signal for evac. Accessing schematics. There's a service lift at the top of the engine. It leads to a Class 7 service corridor that runs along the ship's dorsal structure. Hurry! Cortana to Echo 4 
419. Come in, Echo 419. Roger, Cortana. I'm Reed, 555. The Pillar of Autumn's engines are going critical, Bowhammer. Request immediate extraction. Approach the crash site and be ready to pick us up at external access junction 4C as soon as you get my signal. Affirmative. Echo 419 going on station. Echo 419 to Cortana. Things are getting noisy down there. Everything okay? Negative, negative. We have a wildcat destabilization of the ship's fusion core. The engines must have sustained more damage than we thought. Analyzing. We have six minutes before the fusion drives detonate. We need to evac now. Activating final countdown timer. When it reaches zero, the engines will detonate. The explosion will generate a temperature of almost 100 million degrees. Don't be close. Bohammer is coming to pick us up. Hold position here. Cortana to Echo 419. Two Covenant Banshees are approaching on your six. Evade! Say again, evade! I'm hit! Mayday! Mayday! Air front weapons are shot to hell! I can't get her! I can't hold her! Echo 419! She's gone. Calculating alternate escape route. Inventory shows one longsword fighter is still docked in Launch Bay 7. If we move now, we can make it. down. We'll need them later. make it scanning just dust and echoes we're all that's left we did what we had to do for earth an entire covenant armada obliterated and the flood we had no choice halo it's finished no i think we're just getting started